to put the pressure on your on the heel. Right now, full speed. <coughs> right. Many people ask me, what can you do if you cannot finish the guy with your favorite crab? Yes, I have some few moves which are gonna continue all fight and the uh, fight will finish successfully. Let's say he has both legs right here and I have a hard time to fight and he's pretty good choke specialist. So, I can defend myself for a little while and next when I see this arm, so I, will tr I was trying to apply leg locks on the right leg, so his left arm was too far. So that's all I need because my body already turned towards left a little bit. That's why it's easy for me to go all the way down his shoulder. And I'm not showing that I'm trying to do put uh, any arm lock on him. I'm just trying to get his shoulder. Next step, I will slide from shoulder, I mean, from shoulder to elbow and from elbow to the rest. And I'm going to grab myself. Now, gentleman will try to go away from me. All I need to do right now is uh, control his leg and don't let him go away. And keep moving forward until I finish him. At the same time, your left arm got to pull his shoulder a little bit. All right, now action <laughs> in full speed. I can't end this tape without showing you how this works on a judo fight or any grappling stand-up fight. Because the idea which worked on underground works in a stand-up fight perfectly, even better. So now I'll show you basically simplest, but my favorite combinations, what I successfully did in many judo and some uh, tournaments. First, if your throw, favorite throw is a hip throw, After you go on the next level, people will know that it's your favorite and they will defend themselves like that. So what you got to do, you got to turn your hip to another side and go as slow as you possibly can. And your uh, another leg got to fall down and con uh, control both his feet. So make sure he can't step backward. And your chest include your face, is hitting his stomach, same time. So finally, you can successfully take him down. Also, I would suggest for you to grab his knee. He's on the mat. Next, when you go on a level where you got a black belt for an instructor, sometimes this combination doesn't work also. When you go to tackle, he defends himself very well also. But for some reason, when he defends second time, he's defend more open, open for you. And you can do a different type of hip throw. You can step with the right leg towards his right leg. And now you gotta turn all your hip like you're trying to kick somebody. Put your step between his legs. And now that move will be successfully done. I'm pretty sure about this. Now we are going to the different details. First, here in the North America, we can call that combination Daniel Camarillo combination because that's combination what he successfully done on any type of uh, judo tournaments. He's the uh, highest level on uh, American judo. So you could actually learn this from him, but now he's my, he's my assistant right now. So just uh, wait for next time. First, I would suggest for you start this move with a step your left leg forward and move your hip. And next your right leg goes between his legs right here. Why I would suggest uh, for you to do this move from this way? Because you don't have to do full step by your right leg. All you gotta do, you gotta just show him, then uh, you are going to throw him. But 
because you stay on this leg, your, all your balance on this leg, you can successfully change the um, direction of your attack towards that way and uh, do this tackle. And now, all you got to think is uh, to keep your, your balance real low and move all your weight, everything that way. And go as slow as you can. And also, I would suggest for you, try to keep his legs together, if you can. If you cannot, your head also going to help you. It's got to be like a bull, like a football player does. So, this tape is a tape for guys who already have black belt or on the way to. That's why, after that second step, when he defends himself from tackle, I would suggest for you get something really strong move, really, really powerful move, and you can do it when you use all your weight, when you start doing it like from far away. You see how much power you have right now when you did the step? That's what you basically got to do. That's my advice to you. But if you don't like this way, you can also just uh, keep doing the same move you did in the first place. Step towards his left leg. And remember about your center of your gravity. And right now he's here in front of you and any type of submissions can be done. Full speed. And now we'll, we will end this tape with um, Randori. The many people ask us to do this because that's the way you can learn from real fight. Basically, it's going to be like a typical real fight, except maybe it will be like 80%, 70% of speed, of power we're going to put on this. So we're going to do like this. Me, Daniel. Me, Daniel. I will show you combinations. Daniel will show you combinations. I'll show you combination, then I'll show you combinations. In that case, you will see how that works in real life. Because the most important part of combinations is to understand that after you pull gentleman forward, he wants to go backward. After you push him backward, he wants to go forward. Pull him left, he wants to go right. So that's you got to catch, that you got to feel, that you got to work on. So let's just have some little fun. And you guys have fun. Relax, sit back. Right, if you pay attention to every move we did, you could see then uh, before each throw, we did some paint. Without that, there is no judo, no samba, no jiu-jitsu. That's the way it works. So you can rewind the tape and you see it again. Every single throw was done after some paint. So that's what you should do. <laughs> 